Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. This is a live broadcast from Princeton, New Jersey. Today is Tuesday, December 9th, 2008. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. It's 4.30 p.m. in London, 12.30 p.m. in Bermuda, and 9.30 a.m. in Mexico City. If you need to reach us during the broadcast today, you can phone in toll-free at 1-866-67-CADEX. Overseas, our AOL instant mail address is CADEX TV. Today's birthday, the American actor John Malkovich is 55 years old today. We have an amazing breaking story. Uh, the governor of Illinois, Rod Blagojevich, has been arrested this morning at 6 a.m. Central Time this morning at his home in Chicago. The governor was arrested, as was his chief of staff. Governor Blagojevich has been the subject of an ongoing federal inquiry now for many months. In 28 minutes' time, the federal prosecutor is scheduled to hold a news conference explaining exactly what the charges are. A criminal uh, uh, indictment has been filed. It's available on some of the news media sources, specifically the Washington Post. Among the allegations against the governor are that he has offered to sell the appointment for the outgoing seat of President-elect Obama. As the governor of Illinois, he has sole and exclusive constitutional power to appoint Senator Obama's successor. One news report indicates that the governor was offered as much as half a million dollars by somebody interested in obtaining the seat. According to the prosecutor, this is simply the uh, latest in a long line of corruptive actions taken by the governor and his chief of staff, and we'll learn more about it at the top of the hour today. Also in some other news, uh, Bob Deutsch, the uh, CEO of Ironshore, has announced that Kevin Kelly, the longtime CEO of Lexington Insurance Company, has agreed to become the new chief executive officer of Ironshore. Um, Kelly is well known in the industry. He's been at uh, AIG's Lexington operations for a number of years. And uh, the comments uh, that are available on the Internet from Do Bob Deutsch are appropriately thrilled at the uh, move of uh, Mr. Kelly to the Bermuda-based operation. So good news for them. Now to our main news, Greece. Uh, it's still going on today. Thousands of teachers and students took to the streets today in the demonstration in downtown Athens demanding justice for the 15-year-old killed by police last week. About 2,000 protesters are marching as we speak on the Greek parliament in Athens. A large banner reads, Assassins, the government is the culprit. Is, uh, heading the head of the, is, is at the head of the demonstration. Syntagma Square, Constitution Square, across the street from the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in downtown Athens, uh, facing the Hotel Grand Britannia, has been shut down. Store windows uh, within a mile radius of Syntagma Square have been broken and vandalized. Uh, the capital is apparently relatively paralyzed at this point. Uh, however, there's a story uh, that appeared today in Insurance Day written by Christopher Monroe. He mentions that the loss, uh, possibly tonight, by the Athens-based Panathinaikos uh, soccer team in their UFA Champions League tie against the Cypriot club and Orthosis Famagosta could lead to more rioting in Greece. Mr. Monroe says that as well as, he says also that any insured claims that do result from the event um, this would be the loss of the soccer game tonight, the football game, are expected to be contained by local insurance markets. Gerald Turner of Aon Turner Reinsurance Services, based in Athens, is quoted in the article as saying that heavy exposure for the London market is not expected. Turner said it's not what we would call a catastrophic event. There will possibly be sporadic medium-sized losses, some pilfering and looting, but nothing that would create a catastrophe. He went on to say that even if we have more riots, it will not then become a catastrophic event. Despite his belief that the riots would not lead to a major payout from insurers, he did explain, this is Turner, that a bad result for Panathinaikos tonight could lead to many more days of rioting. He said that if this in fact happens, the possibility could arise that claims could mount up, leading to considerable losses for medium-sized insurers. You never know what's going to affect what, do you? There was a seismic event this morning, a 7.0 earthquake struck near New Zealand's Kermadec Islands this morning. The United States Geological Service said there was no immediate threat of a major tsunami. The quake struck at 6.24 p.m. local time. 
The islands are about 620 miles northeast of the capital of New Zealand, Auckland. Yesterday, uh, one of the Top Gun military planes crashed at Mir uh, just outside of Miramar Naval Air Station in Southern California by San Diego. Residents there are accustomed to the loud, low-flying jets, but they knew that something was wrong immediately right after the F.A. Uh, 18 Hornet fighter crashed in the streets of a quiet neighborhood, killing four people. The homes are uh, valued at approximately half a million dollars each. Uh, it started a fire that burned one house where the uh, deceased residents were located. The house next door uh, also uh, burned down. A number of cars exploded as the, uh, the gas tanks were ignited as well. In Mexico, um, the second government Learjet has crashed uh, in the past three weeks. This one crashed into a lake in central Mexico, um, apparently on Monday. The Learjet 23, picture of uh, a Learjet 23 here, crashed into Atlantic, uh, let me pronounce this correctly, Atlantic Lake on late Sunday night. Uh, rescuers recovered the body of the pilot. They were trying to extract the co-pilot's uh, body this morning. And the crash came just a month after the Mexican interior minister and 14 others were killed when another Learjet plowed into a Mexico City neighborhood. Uh, investigators have blamed last month's Learjet crash on the turbulence from a larger plane flying ahead. Investigators found that the pilots were slow to follow the control tower's instruction to reduce speed and create more space uh, between, a, uh, between them and a Boeing 767-300, which was directly in front of them. Apparently, the turbulence caused the pilots to lose control. Today in Chicago, U.S. President-elect Barack Obama will meet with former Vice President uh, Al Gore. A spokesman for Mr. Obama said the leaders are expected to discuss climate change, energy, and how policies in those areas can stimulate the economy and create jobs. Obama said while campaigning that he would rely on the expertise of Mr. Gore, who created and starred in the award-winning climate change documentary An Inconvenient Truth. Gore, of course, won the Nobel Prize last year. Gore served two terms as Bill Clinton's vice president and ran unsuccessfully against George Bush in the year 2000. The auto bailout is on track. Uh, reports coming from Washington now from senior Democratic senators say that they expect the bill to be on the president's desk sometime tomorrow. Uh, the stock market is down right now. It's down about 130 points as we go to a word from our sponsors. Prudential Financial, Manulife Financial, and three other insurers are expected to place competing bids.